This week's rehab roundup is a little different as most of our horses are off rehab. We do have a couple updates on some long-term horses and an exciting update about Lucy. Stay tuned. Sin is still recovering nicely. Um, he's still having some swelling in the back leg, which I know is to be expected, but just to support him a little bit, we decided to bring him in. Um, got a little muddy. We were worried he was twisting a little too much. So we did decide to bring him back to stall rest for a little while and do some wrapping. But otherwise, wound looks great. No infection. He's healing beautifully. He should 100% be ready for trading at the Dakota Showdown in May. A little longer rehab roundup for Benny today. This is Benny. He's been on rehab since he came in for some pain in his feet and leg injuries. Not injuries, just pain, lameness. As you can see, he still has a limp. He was doing better. It's very cold today, so I'm sure he's stiff and he was out exploring. Um, but we're not seeing the improvement we'd like to see. We, just, we chose to give him the winter to kind of rest and see what happens, but we're not seeing enough improvement. We have basically put it on a 60 day timeline at this point. Next month we are going to put wedge shoes on. One time this winter one of his trims Amanda did put wedges under his feet and let him stand with them and they helped. They seem to make him feel better. So we're going to try wedge shoes. If that makes him happy and pain free then we'll move forward with a plan for him. Otherwise if it doesn't I have to say we all kind of know we're probably not winning as far as getting him to a point where he can live a happy pain and free life. So we have unfortunately started a 60 day countdown on him um, with the plan, the last effort to make him sound and comfortable being wedge shoes next month. This update is going to be a hard one for anybody who's been around a long time. So this is Hamilton. Hamilton has been with us seven, almost eight years, seven and a half years. He came to us as a baby from a really horrific um, experience and he was born without the coffin bones in his hind feet so his body is kind of funky we've uh, he's been seen by specialists he's done very well um, we've managed to keep him sound the majority of his life however in the past year we've noticed that back that far leg the tendon is just kind of in an awkward position so he's developing a limp and the last two trims we've really struggled with um, holes like he doesn't have bones in his foot so he always has some kind of funkiness in there but we've seen some significant changes um, and between that and the tendon and just I guess seeing where he's at and how he's doing our goal has always been that he could have as long of a life with us as as his body feet would support that body but we do we're very concerned we're at a point where we are no longer ahead of the game and he's starting to show discomfort and he's starting to show um, some mechanical failure in his body so there is a very good chance that this is the last year we'll have him. Um, winter is extremely tough. It was tough on him last year. It was harder this year. I don't believe, absent something is significantly changing, I don't believe we're going to ask him to go through another winter. Um, and this is going to be a very hard. There are a lot of people who love this horse, a lot of people who have been with us from day one. So, um, hi, Amy. So, um, just kind of setting the prep for that. We don't know when it'll be. If he continues to have holes in his feet and continues to need to be wrapped and have some issues after Farrier, um, we will unfortunately probably lose him about the same time as Benny, if we do lose Benny. But we do believe we are at the end of what his feet can support. We're kind of hoping we can take him back to Dr. Vlahos in Wyoming for one final update, since he's shared his story all over the world and has written articles about him. Um, but not certain that that would be good for him either. So we'll keep you updated. I know this is an update that several of our followers are gonna be very upset about. Lucy here is one of our behavior ones who has been a problem. So we, we sucked it up, we have a halter on her, we got a lead rope on her and brought her in with Plucky, who's pretty friendly. Um, not sure if we'll try to trim her with sedation or if we'll just let her watch. She Her problem is that she, she's shown aggression in the past. So just kind of one step at a time. The fact that we put a lead rope on her and brought her in, taking her away from the herd is a huge step. And that might be enough for today. We'll decide later. And then of course, Plucky and a bajillion other horses that have to be trimmed today. <laughs> and since this update has had some not so great updates, we thought we'd show this fun little clip of Yearling Navy, who today got her first halter on and her first leading session. Teaching babies is, is fun, um, creative, but fun, and it's definitely helpful to have one of their friends. In front of her is her friend Violet, who is um, 
a very nice girl. And that's it for this week's Rehab Roundup. We'll keep you posted on how Benny and Hamilton and everybody else are doing. And definitely check back next week.